are you single or dating or oh, dating you. people? My sister. <laughs> Forget <laughs> you asked me this question before. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Forget I asked you. Ah. Forget I saw you selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Nine to five and working for yourself. Which one do you think like wins? Muna loved God so much. Muna never misses church. Let's not even get started on that. But then she's a body. So I actually want to know how do you combine these two and still send God? What do you think about like dating in the streets of Lagos? Sometimes people go into whatever they go into without love being a factor. I'm sure you have had experience. My dear, have you me? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm nice in the room. Hey guys, what's good? You're welcome back to my channel. My name is Nari If this is the first time I've been on my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification box to see you so we get more of my videos. Today, I have another pretty guest who is here with me. Okay, girl. Hi, guys. My name is Muna and I'll be doing this with Nari today. Muna <laughs> This is the first time she's coming to my house. Let's have that establishment. We've been friends for the longest time, and ever since I got this place, this lady has never. Shown but I'm here future. now, though. Because we are making a video. I mean, I'm here. <laughs> That's all that matters. What do you do? I'm a realtor. Yeah, so okay. I'm into land, fields of land and properties. I'm also a business developer. I do a nine to five. Right. Okay. But it's more like hybrid, right? So I work with the business team. So it's a telehealth company. You can get to access doctors from anywhere you are. So we make it easy for patients and people to access doctors. I'm actually very happy to have her here. And today we're going to be talking about something very interesting. Because I have a series of things to talk about. The economy right now, everything is changing and it's getting hard. 9 to 5 and working for yourself. Which one do you think like wins? Working for myself. <laughs> obviously is, is, is a lot better it's sweeter yes you get to make money mm -hmm. every day right yes yeah. you can get to make money every day you don't have to wait till the um, end, end of, of the, the month, month to, to get, get your something. salary that is that not is... a lot i mean do you get yeah so yeah it's, if you wait it has its own disadvantages and advantages mm -hmm. working for yourself and working for somebody mm -hmm. when you're working for somebody there are things you don't have to worry about there are things you don't have to worry about yes. it's just like a one thing you just do, do your, your job, job at the end of out. the month they pay you exactly you don't get to worry about to Internet in the office, electricity, security, man, cleaners, time, that, you know that you're coming and to work by this time exactly. and by this time. Do you get? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So it has its own perks. Working for, for someone. You, which would you ever, ever like ever go for? No, working for myself because I, I have my time. I work on my own terms. Yeah. Do you get? Lagos lifestyle as a girl, like living in Lagos as a girl can be very costly. Like, how do you do it? How do you fend? How has it been for you? Okay. Right? So, yeah. Slogan, yeah. No, do pass yourself. <laughs> okay, very like important. That. No, do pass. I know they do pass myself. That I can only do things I can afford when I can afford it. If I want something, I can save over time to get it. Right. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. No pressure. I don't pressure myself. Moving into Lagos, I stayed with my sister for years until right. I could comfortably afford an apartment. Do you understand? I was going to talk about that as well. Yes. To talk about so, like, I don't pressure myself. Do you get? I think we have similar this thing yeah. because moving into Lagos too. I just got my apartment like a few months ago, and I've been living in Lagos for the past five years. And you've been and I've stayed with my uncle. Exactly. You're making sense. Yes. No. Lifestyle day. Do you understand? It's, it's expensive. It's expensive. You know. For a second, imagine carrying those prices and you're not being shaken because you've gotten to the fact you've gotten used to the fact that lagos is this yeah. it's expensive it is. and it you're is. working towards making it happen you're it doing is. all the things you can possibly do it to is. get into I'm, it i'm working obviously yes. i'm doing a nine to five and i'm also doing my own mm -hmm. business do you understand just to so, make life comfortable for me do you understand i like that but that doesn't mean that, okay imagine i was just in a nine to five and i'm looking for a house in lucky you why? cannot choose to pay why 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 should i be thinking towards what salary so you that. yeah you you cut your coat according to material it's mm -hmm. not size anymore because you will be you might be very <laughs> it's not, it's not size anymore yeah so i haven't heard that one according so to material, material yeah different different, different, different quality, quality of material. Of material. it's not size <laughs> because you can be a giant and and where the size you, is still exactly, not there. your size is sizing and it's according to your material so if i did not have an option mm -hmm. right or if i didn't have money to even start 
looking out or sapa ikate lucky you know yeah i'm just carrying myself to aja where i know that My i can't go without <laughs> stress yes now because the yes is... like i said no pressure no i can only do what i can, I can do, do when i can do it oh, I, I have expensive money. stuff i do not buy like and I just wake up in the morning and say, okay, I want to buy this thing. Let's talk about our, let's I talk, say, say, let's talk about yes. our hair. Let's for example, I mean, you love to do things and you love doing hair. Yeah. Even my hair vendor, instrumental payment. You've always said that from day yes, one. Yes, I told, I told so you. So you see, it's not as if we have all the buck money to just throw in. Mona has always like, when exactly. she buy our um, good hair, I she does instrument. She pays yes, like... Yes, please. I'm cautious like when I'm using money because mm-hmm. I know how hard it is to, to make this it. money. It's not easy. Right. So the one I have, I'm managing it well. This slogan they said, take it to you, make it. Do you really accept? Do you, do you, is that a thing for you? Do you think it's... Yes, I don't. You know when they say fake it, you make it in the sense that you don't have it, but you keep faking it that you have it. I don't mean that's I can't kind relate of about way. that, right? Yes, because who's the fake it? Thing? You make it. What am I faking? What would the what the If you're supposed to have destiny helpers, you're faking it. How who will know you need you? help? Who wants Correct. to? Who will help you? Do you understand? Correct. Do you get? Yes. You know, it shouldn't be fake it. You make it. Sometimes. I mean, packaging, yeah, packaging is there. Yeah, that's what yeah. I wanted to so say. don't lie about the things you don't have. Don't just project your misery, your your haggardness and your, you know, just I like that. Is packaging is, is definitely okay. But look at my gorgeous friend. Like, look at Mona, right? And for some reasons, Mona, Everybody Mona love crying. God. <laughs> Mona love God so much. Like, you see her, Mona never misses church. Let's not even get started on that. She's fasting, she's doing everything, but then she's a body. She is a proper Lagos <laughs> body because look at my friend. So, I actually want to know, like, how do you combine these two and still serving God and doing the things of God and loving God? I actually want to know how that works for you it's something you can comfortably combine serving god should be a lifestyle too aside whatever you're doing i feel like serving god should be an every every minute stop that is something that most people don't you know. don't know right it's not a hard thing to do mm. me fasting praying going to church it is in my lifestyle already and it doesn't stop you from doing like when it's time to party <laughs> that's called life balance actually which is good yes it should be an all the time something but there are times you just um bring out and say okay this is my worship time this is my prayer time do you mm-hmm. understand and also if you don't know mona from afar you're seeing her because i wish you could stand up if you see mona <laughs> like oh my god you would never know mona can party can do all the things she's doing but when it's time to serve god she's all out so are there things that like you know how it is like say you're a christian and then you love god boy shouldn't be doing this let's say for example dressing are there things that it doesn't allow you to or you should go all out being a body and you go all out being you know loving god I mean, because i love how you do it honestly right i'm not extra with things yeah i'm yeah. a very decent person if you know and you see right yeah. so it's not like um i serve god and i'm naked right. or i serve god and, and i do some certain things that i should not be doing some yeah, I'm godly things. I don't want to talk about this because I mean my mom will be looking at me from my side because <laughs> I love God. For me, I don't go to church every time. Very bad to say. But what do you read your scriptures? You, that's, you see, that's the thing. I try, but not always. Mm. I fast, but not as you. I feel like you're not putting a conscious effort to do it. If you put a conscious effort to it, give yourself time. It's, it's a gradual process. And to be honest, your lifestyle on a normal, you know, it's I'll call it like body, you know. I mean body doesn't mean Bad. But body <laughs> means like loving the good things of life actually and mm-hmm. being a christian and loving the things of god doesn't really stop you yeah, exactly. from doing that so i actually exactly. admire it so how do you tell people like can actually be a christian or love god and actually live your life you can actually love god and live your life and do the things you enjoy doing i like going out <laughs> I like having fun. You mean like you like party? So you I don't like be humble. <laughs> don't be humble. I like partying. Yes, I do. I actually like hanging out with my friends. But mm-hmm. that doesn't stop my spiritual and my Christian life. Is this nigga serious? So, yeah. I'm so impressed, guys. So this is just trying to say that you can actually... My mom would actually tell me that serving God doesn't stop you from wearing shorts things because my mom is always dragging me from wearing short things and she's be like Manye, you have to serve god but serving god doesn't stop you from doing too many things if mm-hmm. you feel like if you want to serve god it will stop you you know 
wearing the clothes you want to wear not like being naked you can't hanging be naked. out you can't serve god and be naked exactly if you get you know hanging out and just like being a human being to be honest i mean that's some people yeah i'm not judging or trying to talk down on them mm-hmm. right but some people serve god and have a dirty appearance in terms of hair not done they just look really is off right easy someone like that can't approach me and want to talk about god because right? you can't relate like your appearance alone this is you can't be like this and be talking about god there's no way you need to look good like god yes. has to like you know look neat smell nice do you get yeah I, I think i get what you're saying i feel like there's also a, a, a batch of people that are like that yes. and, I, and then I, when I they see people like, like us you, yeah the they, they start judging like why are you like this i think why so you like i don't want to call this people like churchy <laughs> I know. but i think so they are, they are extremists people like that. They're, yeah they're, they're extremists but there's right? but, like you can say god and do, do the beard uh, yeah. you know I get you. There should be balance. I feel like someone like you can come and talk to me about God, and I'm like, okay, because oh. I can relate mm-hmm. because you have your happy yeah you're living yeah is it so my yes. lifestyle yes yeah. you get what i'm trying to say mm-hmm. um let's talk about, about is love relationship and dating i feel like i always <laughs> will see I, i'm always gonna ask my guests this i need to know what is happening with them in the dating field in lagos so that i will know whether if i'm the only one that's thinking that there's no love in lagos or is it just you know so i asked my other guests i'm gonna ask you what's happening like what's happening start, start for the question <laughs> Is what's happening? <laughs> no, no, what's happening? Like, is there anything happening? Is anything happening? First of all, are we single or dating or just five? <laughs> Do you talk? Please. <laughs> when they say they will speak, best believe that she's not single. If they say they will speak, best believe that she's not single. Very and very maybe, cute. maybe as they're not even single, they're dating people, not one. <laughs> <laughs> so fine. You said she's gonna speak. Muna, eh? Which, what, what, what do you want to speak? Muna, give me this. <laughs> Forget <laughs> you asked me this question. <laughs> Forget I asked you. I mean, Forget I saw yourself. Before somebody will go and say, ah, you said you are single. I think I'm dating my sister. <laughs> what do you think about like? dating in the streets of lagos really. the streets of lagos there's love in lagos so there's actually love in lagos and people are finding love every day that's the thing you know? it's different from actually finding love i'm not sure you literally loving the person i don't know how to put it people can find love tomorrow but it's not really love yeah that's the thing yeah so i feel like sometimes people go into whatever they're going to without love being a factor do you understand right yes because of other things that they can get yes other things by the side and is that okay um on the long run it's not sus- it's not sustainable yeah yeah I so don't you think mean it's like sustainable because i mean right i'm sure you have had experience my dear happy me are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> you make <What>? us. <laughs> maybe not personal experiences but people around us friends yeah you get colleagues and all that so i've had experiences there is there's love. I think there isn't. There, there is actually, right? I think there isn't. Because <laughs> I mean, do you get the experiences from people so far and what see, I'm seeing? See, that's what I'm saying, right? The experiences I've seen or heard of two people coming to something because of what this person wants to gain and because of what another yeah. person. So Classic. selfish interest. But guess what? So they are not in love. But guess what again? So the people that actually also came in together because of love, give them time. They're out. It's a fresh way up to here. That's not love. Ah, I feel like Lagos is just like, that's do you not, think, do you think Lagos is somewhere you can find love? Do you think it, it I mean, can tell someone to come to Lagos love can find love? You know how they say you can find love anywhere. You I can think actually. Is out of the question. Your intentions should be pure, and and you pray you meet someone with pure intentions mm-hmm. too. You know, I, I don't mean, even blame all these girls that are doing BPL because it's as if it's what the men. See, let me want. tell you something. That's what I was coming to say. That, but then I don't even blame you if you feel like you want to get into love because of a thing. So, as a lady, or as a guy, or as you know mm-hmm. anybody we have boxes that we need to take. yes we have boxes i have personal boxes that my partner or my intending partner has, has to, to tick. maybe not all because that no is, one is perfect this is so sweet the yeah. last conversation i had with my other guests we talked about the same thing i felt like i made a mistake of thinking because we're in our late 20s 
and I made a mistake of thinking that the person I want to meet or date has to tick all the boxes. Oh. But no, because yeah. and then being ticking all the boxes, there's nobody to tick all the no boxes. One is perfect. Yeah. So yeah. even though it ticks few of the boxes, it's okay to get into yes. dating with the person. Yes. And then you know? also, Vera, if someone loves you enough, mm-hmm. right? I, I, I feel mm. like and experiences I've had, and me, mm-hmm. this is how I am and how I'll be. You yes. Know? So if someone loves you enough, the person will be willing to make adjustments. Do you to understand? Make it, yes. Yeah, to make adjustments to accommodate you, you do the things your that needs. exactly do the things so that. So if the like, person doesn't tick all your boxes, but tick most, most of them, them, right? The ones that are left on tick, it can be ticked like with, moving with, forward yeah, with, with time. time. You get okay. So when you love someone enough, adjustments are something you. Because you, me, on my own end, You're not I, I'm, I'm not perfect. You're not so perfect. I'm not. I, I, I probably and obviously will not tick the guy's boxes, boxes all his boxes, yes. right? So there has to be a meeting point. point. Do right. you understand? So I feel like from whatever Mona just said, now you said that there is actually like there is love in Lagos, which okay from your end. Yes, you I can find we'll love in Lagos. That. We will. Let us keep looking for because I haven't <laughs> seen. Let me see. I let me see. I haven't seen. I always want. All my guests say something nice about our channel. Um, say something oh. nice about So please, <laughs> no, no, no. This channel. If you're not following this channel, you're wrong. I'm telling you, it's so insightful. Um. Like, please, when are you traveling? I love your travel. Please, oh, please. Why are you traveling? Please. 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 What is all this? Please travel. Let's travel the world with you virtually because Nonya will give you to the tiniest details. Like, to the, she doesn't hide nothing. She give she gives she gives you prizes. Like she will tell you how much is, how much this is, how much that is, how much oh. she doesn't hide prizes and she and and she makes her travels are always affordable, right? Yeah, so you can just save and, and you can travel. Do you understand? So please, if you're not following this channel, follow this channel. Thank everything you. Everything about lifestyle, travel, and then we are bringing more informative videos. You now get is really show. insightful. You will learn a lot. Thank you so much. I think this was like a quite interesting one. Honestly. Yeah. Was, and truthfully, I feel like I, I also have seen a different type of Mona that <laughs> all those while are different, which I I, I didn't know, which is mm. I'm not gonna say. But yeah. Uh, so guys, <laughs> you tell you guys. me off camera. <laughs> you must tell me off camera. <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Drop a comment if you have any topic or whatever you might want to learn or hear from, you know, from my guests. Drop in the comment section. And as my friend said, please subscribe to our channel. Um, give a thumbs up to this video. Yeah. And uh, so let's see you next time. Okay. Bye. Bye.